The only thing that is annoying about having super dark hair again is that if there's lint or anything that gets in it, it's super visible. I was curled up on the couch last night and the throw blanket I was using sheds like crazy. Super linty. It all got in my hair. <laughs> It's currently Monday morning and today is the first day of my training slash shadowing at the salon where I'm gonna be working. So if you guys saw in my last vlog, I said that I went and interviewed for the salon job. I decided to take it, obviously. Today the salon is closed, so I'm just going in for a couple of hours to meet with the owner and she's just gonna kind of, I guess, go over. I'm not sure. We might be doing like paperwork things and then maybe just going over like general tasks and like responsibilities. I am so excited to get to like dress cute and just have like an excuse and a reason to like get kind of dressed up and have some kind of structure in my week. I think it'll just be good to like a good opportunity to meet new people, which I'm the most excited about. I have a few training days scheduled throughout the next two weeks, and then I officially start in September. This will be a nice way to kind of like ease into it, and that way once I start, hopefully I will like feel 100% comfortable and really like know what I'm doing and just hit the ground running. Anyway, I am going to have a little bit of breakfast, take Benny out for a walk and all of that. I have to leave here in the next like hour or so and then I'm gonna come back here and go work out in my apartment gym. Good afternoon, happy Tuesday. I have the day off today and I've just been kind of taking it slow so far. I got caught up on the newest episode of Only Murders in the Building. Let me know if you are watching that show, if you're caught up with the newest season. I love it so much. It's like such a good comfort show because it's like you have like the mystery, thriller aspect of it, but then it's also like kind of funny and lighthearted. But then I started to feel like a little weird and kind of sad. You guys know if you've been keeping up with my vlogs recently, I've just been going through like kind of a weird time. I've been okay for the most part, but every so often I'll have a day or so here and there where I just feel really sad and down. And today is one of those days, probably because I've been home all day. It's another reason why I'm really excited about this salon job, to get me out of the house and be around people and keep my mind busy. But yeah, I was starting to feel that way, didn't like it, so I was like, let me get up and let me do something that always makes me feel better. So I am about to play a podcast episode, Crime Junkie, one of my favorite podcasts. I'm gonna listen to that while I clean the kitchen because the countertops definitely need to be wiped down and the sink and everything. This is the story of Sherry Smith and Deborah Helmick. A few hours later, I have since showered, washed, and styled my hair. I'm about to go to dinner with my friend Haley, so I thought I would just show you my little 
outfit of the night which is almost entirely H&M funny enough H&M heels H&M men's shorts H&M men's fanny pack and then this long sleeve bodysuit from Target and I just did a little under eye concealer liquid blush and brow gel same like I did yesterday that's been kind of like my go-to no makeup makeup but I gotta go she came to pick me up She's downstairs waiting for me. I'm very excited. We're going to get Italian at one of our favorite go-to places downtown. And it'll be nice to have a little girl time, especially after having like a little bit of a off day earlier, you know, so. been up and like ready with a full face of makeup this early in so long it's about seven o'clock right now i am getting ready for my second day of work training i'm just touching up my hair a little bit because it got pretty frizzy when i was out last night and this is about to die But I'm super excited because today the salon is actually going to be open so it's going to be a regular day so I'm going to be shadowing the other front desk girl and just get to watch her do her thing and I'm going to truly get to see like what a typical day is going to be like there once I actually start just gonna spray some Kenra dry texture spray in my hair if you guys have a texturizing spray that you really like that you feel works really well and really like adds good grit to the hair but smells good let me know because I love this one so much like the way it works is amazing but I hate the smell of it I don't even know how to describe it honestly I'm just not a huge fan here is my outfit for the day. I just have on like a plain black tank top and biker shorts underneath. And then this little like vest blazer kind of situation I just recently got from Target. It's from the line A New Day. I think they had it in another color as well. And then these sandals are from H&M. And I just layered a couple necklaces. This one is Ana Luisa, and then this one I got from Altered State. Just have to put something on my lips, and then I'm good to go. It is many hours later. I had a really good day at the salon. It was overwhelming, to say the least. It's not, like, too much to handle by any means. I'll be fine, like... You know the longer I'm there and the more I get familiar with everything I'm a very like quick paced go 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 kind of person so I like being in a more fast paced environment but it's just a little bit more than what I'm used to because it's like a full service salon and spa so not only are there multiple hairdressers but there's also nail people a massage therapist um, an esthetician so there's just a lot going on they also do weddings a lot of the times and they do makeup and stuff like that so there's just a lot more people like a lot more technicians that work there and they are all like fully booked every single day so it's a lot and the phone rings a lot so you know I'm used to being in a really little small salon where there was only three stylists at the most but I do really like it everyone there is so nice and super helpful and um, I, I like a more fast-paced environment because I feel like it makes the day go by faster and it's just like I don't know it just feels good to be like go 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 I hate sitting around feeling like I don't have anything to do and just kind of like looking for like busy work, you know? But I am about to take my makeup off and wash my face and I thought I would share because I get questions every so often about this. Like I'll mention sometimes that I like to use coconut oil to melt off my makeup. And yeah, I literally just use regular old coconut oil that you would get like at the grocery store and I just scoop a little bit of it out 
rub it between my hands and then I just use it like a makeup balm and I just rub it on my face and it just melts off all of my makeup and people have asked me like oh doesn't that clog your pores doesn't it make you break out no like you guys see how clear my skin is and the key is just to make sure that you really cleanse it super well afterwards so that you're fully removing the coconut oil but I like to do this because I feel like I'm not tugging at my skin compared to if I were to use like a makeup wipe it's also less wasteful than a makeup wipe um, and it's just so cheap like yeah you could get a makeup balm or you know some kind of makeup remover but this is so so cheap and easy and it works super well the only thing is if you have lash extensions this obviously isn't oil so you want to avoid your eye area if you have lash extensions because this will mess up your lashes and then I will just take some kind of washcloth or I have these little like reusable makeup pad things and I'll just wipe that off and it'll get all that makeup off and then I will wash my face with my cleanser and then I like to take a clean washcloth get it wet with super hot water squeeze the water out And then I always do a second cleanse to really make sure that I got rid of all of the makeup, all of the oil. And there you go. Now my skin is completely clean. So that's how I remove my makeup. If I'm feeling lazy, I will use a makeup wipe every once in a while. But yeah, I just like the coconut oil because like I said, it's cheap and I feel like it's less harsh on your skin, better for the environment, all those good things. And um, yeah, I've been doing this for over a year at least, and I've never had any issues. So give it a try if you'd like. But like I said, just really make sure that you double cleanse afterwards and you're like really making sure to remove any oil residue. But yeah, I'm super excited about the job. I have another training day tomorrow but I'm gonna be closing, so I go in later in the day. I'm just gonna chill the rest of the night. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is currently Thursday. I've been sitting here editing the podcast episode for today, which if you're new here, you didn't know, I do have a podcast with my friend Julia and we post new episodes every Thursday. So I'll have a link to it in the description as always. If you wanna check it out, I would really appreciate it. I really would love to do a video version of the podcast sometime kind of soon because I know personally I'm a big podcast person but if there is a video version of the podcast I would much rather see the video and like actually watch people talk than just listen to it you know I don't know so um it would be nice to have that as an option for those who prefer video like I do but it's a little bit tricky because I live down in North Carolina and she lives all the way in upstate New York so um we would have to film separately. So that's gonna be a little bit of a process trying to figure that out. But yeah, I am editing this episode. I'm like almost halfway done with it. And I don't know if you can hear that noise, but they are repairing the balcony of the apartment below mine. And they've been going at it since at least eight this morning. You know, I'm not complaining. I totally get it. That's just a part of apartment living. It is what it is. Like they need to do what they need to do, but it is a little noisy and annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I do have to go to the salon at three o'clock. So once I'm done with this, I'm gonna start getting ready. Here's my outfit today. I love this outfit. These pants are from H&M, but I've had them for years. I think I got these 
like in 2014 or something. They are a little bit sheer. I don't think you can tell on camera. So I do have some like nude shapewear shorts underneath just to be on the safe side. And then I have this John Mayer t-shirt that I got from his merch website that I just tied up so it would be a little cropped. And then I have my Steve Madden like 2000s platform slides. And then I layered some necklaces again. This chain is from Ana Luisa and this is the same necklace with the S on it like I had on yesterday. Just doing another training tonight. This time I'm gonna be there till the salon closes so I will get to learn what the closing protocol is. I will check in later and let you know how it goes. I'm home, this is the worst lighting ever. Um, that's a little bit better, but still pretty bad. We're just gonna work with it. And Benny is drinking, sorry about that. But I stopped at Walmart on the way home so I could get a couple snacky things because I was thinking about this yesterday when I was at the salon that it would be really nice to have like some quick easy snacks that I could bring with me. So I got these little like Lunchables basically for adults so I can bring them with me at the salon just so I have like something to munch on. And then I got some breakfast sandwiches because I figure in the mornings like on the days when I'm opening I have to be there pretty early I you know don't want to wake up like crazy early and make myself a whole breakfast so these are just super easy to just throw in the microwave really quick or I could even bring with me and heat it up at the salon when I get there and then I think I'll probably also like once I officially start maybe just get like some mixed nuts or something other little like easy snackable things that I can just bring with me but it went really well it wasn't nearly as busy today as it was yesterday I think also because it was just like later in the day it's going pretty well I don't have anything specific to share I need to make myself some dinner it's almost 9 15 now I also need to take Benny out to use the bathroom because he has been here waiting for me the last several hours. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning. It is pouring outside, but it's so relaxing. And I'm really happy that I have the day off from the salon today because I would have hated having to go out in this. But the fact that I can just stay home and chill in my pajamas right now. And I have a magnetic screen door in front of my balcony door. So I can just leave this door open and listen to the rain. It is so soothing. In about an hour, I told my friend Haley that I would do her hair. The same friend that I was out to dinner with earlier in this vlog. It's nothing crazy. She just likes a balayage. So we're just kind of bringing it up a little bit higher and like maybe refreshing the ends. Good morning. To backtrack really quick, after I finished Haley's hair, I wasn't able to get an after clip of it. The plan originally was that I was gonna blow it out and style it and all that, but she had another appointment after that and she had to stop and pick something up, I think, beforehand. So she had to run out of here. We didn't have time to dry it or anything. And as you saw, it was raining anyway. So I wasn't able to get any after pictures because her hair was soaking wet and you couldn't tell a difference anyway. And then this weekend, I didn't end up vlogging anything because I literally just stayed home the entire weekend and I was just watching stuff on Netflix. But it was nice to just have some alone time and just like decompress. 
I think especially now that I am in a salon again like I know I'm not taking clients obviously but I'm still like interacting with people and as a natural introvert my social battery gets drained pretty easily so if I'm working a job where I have to interact with people then on my days off I just want to be alone whereas before I started this when I was just home doing YouTube I wasn't around people all week so then by the weekend I wanted to go out and socialize but I am going to the salon again this morning it's a Monday so the salon is not open it's gonna be the same thing as last week I'm just meeting with the owner and we're just doing some one-on-one -on -one training things during the week I've been shadowing the other front desk staff staff and had just been doing training with them but the owner kind of wants me to eventually take over as more of a manager and do a little bit more of like the back end things to take some more things off of her plate as the owner because she does take clients full time as well and does weddings and everything so it's a lot so there are certain things that she wants to teach me i think it's nice to like get this type of experience so that way in a few months i can kind of see like okay do i want to go back to being a stylist do i prefer having one-on-one -on -one with clients or do i like more of like the manager side of things and i think that all experience is good experience and honestly who knows like i don't have any plans of opening my own salon but maybe years from now I will want to or even if I decide that I want to like just open up my own like salon suite or something it'll be nice to kind of have this experience and learn what things are working and what things aren't from other salon owners. I'm wearing this little um, like onesie bodysuit situation from Old Navy and then I just threw this black denim jacket on top from Misguided and then after the salon I have a couple errands to run. Bath and Body Works was having a really big sale on hand soaps this past weekend so I ordered some for pickup and then I also have a nail appointment. They're getting pretty grown out and I really want to chop them a lot shorter because they're just like so long and they're getting so annoying. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am home now, but I wanted to do a little haul because I went to Bath and Body Works. They were having a really good sale on hand soaps and I love the foaming Bath and Body Works hand soaps. So I always like to stock up whenever they're having a sale. I like to get a whole bunch so that I have like back stock of them. So I got afternoon apple picking. Then I got marshmallow fireside, a classic. I still have some summery ones left over. So I tried to just pick like fall and winter scents. Then I got white pumpkin, which I love. And I love the packaging of this too. It just looks so like nice and clean. Then I got cozy cashmere. I don't think I've ever smelled this one before. Oh, that smells nice. Then I got flannel, sweater weather, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, sweet sandalwood. Oh, this is a new one too. Ooh, that smells really good. Then I got mahogany teak wood, cozy vanilla almond. Ooh, mm-hmm. I love almond scented anything. And sunrise woods. I don't know what this smells like. Ooh, that one smells good. But I'm actually going to wrap up this vlog here so that I can start editing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon with another video. Bye. Oh, say bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay.